Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have a service call for another LG Multi-V unit. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech. The issue that we had here was that we had no display on the thermostat. I quickly took voltage reading off one that was working and it's in DC voltage. The thermostat that has no display has no power going to it. And this is the air handler for it. The issue right now, is space. Looks like the control panel is on the opposite end. But one thing I noticed, look at this filter. It might not look like it, but that's actually the filter. This thing is plugged. Let's try to pull this thing out. Oh wow, this is a large unit. Look at this thing. Oh my god. That's the dirt. Oh my god. And that's what you're breathing. Okay, so when it comes to the control panel, it's on the opposite end. I see a little access panel here and one here. I think that's gonna be the easier one to get to. But look at all this stuff in the way. This thing is full of stuff and it's super heavy. Then we got coffee machines here. Am I really gonna have to step on that? You can't really set up a ladder either. Just gotta get in the corner, you're here. Oh boy. All right, so I opened this. And let's see if we get to the control panel. I'm gonna have to step on here though. All right guys, I'm in here. So we got two boards in here. Some power strips. Okay. Let's see if we got power coming in. Look, it's, it says it's on the off position. <laughs> no way. All right, hold on, guys. Let's see what's going on here. Do we really not have power? Did somebody switch it off? I mean, who who's even coming in here? All right, volts AC. Line one, line two. Nothing. Let's flip the switch. Now we got 208. Oh, that's the pump. Condensate pump, it was full. Here the fan started. We got a green light on there. Let's check that thermostat. Okay, still no display. All right, let's do a quick check between these two. Focus more on the thing. Yeah. Got one volt DC. One volt DC. Got the A to ground. A to ground. different readings than the one that is operating. All right, so this right here is the thermostat. The engineer wanted to see if we can swap out different thermostat as this one is more important at the moment. So let's turn this off. Wait, that's, that's the 
Okay, this one is now off, and that's off. We're gonna swap out this one for this one. All right, there were just way too many people in that office. I didn't want to record all that, but we swapped out the thermostat. Let's turn it back on, see if we got a display. I would really be upset. I think it really would be New Yorkers. Especially New Yorkers, they're always here. Yeah. All right, so we still got no display out there. What I want to do is check voltage out of these. I remember the one that was working, we we're getting like 8 volts to ground from each one. Let's try that's negative, let's see if that switches. Alright, now it's not negative. We got 8.9 volts DC there. From black to ground. Now let's check yellow to ground. That's tight. Let's go to red to ground. Got 8 volts DC. Let's try to reach that yellow one. And we got 8 volts DC. Okay. Now let's check across from black. It's really, really tight in here. Let's try to go from black to yellow. Well, volts DC and then from black to red 12 volts DC and now let's go between I'm not really sure how to check this. this is my first time I'm just trying to see exactly what we're getting so each terminal to ground we got 8 volts DC right And then between any two, we got 12 volts DC. And the fan is running now. All right, let's check here. From ground, got eight volts on that one. Got eight volts on that one. Got nothing. Is it my leads? I don't think so. Nope. Let's check across. That's already not getting voltage. We got voltage at the unit, but not here. Let's check between any two. We're supposed to get 12 volts. Nothing on that one. No. Let's switch this. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, nothing. All right, so I went back up there, I found a loose connection. Now we have a light, let's check voltage. It's in any one to ground, I should have eight volts DC. We have it now. We got nine. Here we have eight. Here we have eight. And between any two, we have 12 out over there. Mm hmm. Now we have 12. That's auto ranging. That means it's probably communicating. And now it's auto ranging. Probably means it's communicating. All right. As you see, the air conditioning started. That's good. This machine actually works. But look what's strange. This is the grill to cool the space. And look up. The air is blowing this way. See how that's moving? They blocked off the grill. It's not even cooling this space at all. It's cooling these leaves. <laughs> we gotta open this up. Why did they cover this? This has to come out. All right. Got 
got a display and cooling and that's the original thermostat now we can put this one back here as well back up and running back up and running you see my hand through the filter now look what came out of here this is insane it's like an animal fur <laughs> oh my gosh when you don't have a dust pail use a garbage bag the typical lg units that we work on here is the lg multi v5 but as you can see this is a much older generation this is the lg multi v3 yeah, we got quite a few in units up here these are the old ones here and these are all the modern ones so we just finished that service call and we have another machine now working let's see eight east this guy oh no oh no i remember working on this one and saying this is the next one gonna this is the next one to break down because it was making such weird noises oh man this one's gonna be interesting but we're gonna leave this for another video if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as they come out with new videos every week and i'll catch you all next time